Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. Going to take a look at a brand new product here in the Sirenet brand section on Sirenet. It is a brand new light bar. It is the Sirenet LBL4 series. That's the LBL4 Sirenet bar. Basically, this light bar will come in a variety of configurations. The one that's on the top of this particular Nissan Armada right now is a wrecker bar. And what that means is that this light bar, in fact, is aimed at the tow truck market in the United States. But, of course, it can be used in any market, DOT, public works, construction. The decision is entirely up to yourself. But the bar itself has a certain functionality that appeals to the folks that uh, do tow trucks or otherwise known as wrecker vehicles here in the U.S. So, again, let's take a look at the SN LBL4-WB. I'll show you some of the features. One of the first things to start off with is the forward-facing takedown LED lights. You will see how bright these lights are. Now, the bar itself comes in a variety of lengths. This one happens to be a 54-inch length bar. You can also get the bar in a 48-inch length as well. It does come with clear outer domes, as you can see here. Also in this particular bar is a variety of LED modules, and those LED modules have been set up specifically for the record bar. But again, when you're looking at the website, you will see that we're going to be also offering this bar in a different configuration pertaining to you as a volunteer or you in the emergency service, i.e. law enforcement, fire, or EMS. Let's take a look at putting on the uh, rear stop lights or brake lights, which are also included in this particular bar. We'll turn those on right now. Well, here we are at the back of the vehicle. Going to take a look at the brake light configuration inside this SNLBL4 WB record bar. As you can see right now, I've turned on some back illumination. These happen to be brake lights, by the way. And what's happening here is that when you would normally have your uh, cruise lights on or driving lights on as you're going down the road at night, in other words, your lighting system on, you'd have these lights will be glowing just like standard lights would glow. And when you apply the brakes, you'll get an increase in the intensity of the actual light itself. So that indicates that you're applying the brakes. Now, also in the center of this bar, there are, in fact, work lights, just the same as there were on the front of the bar. So there's work lights in the rear and work lights in the front as well. So that's a, a nice feature with this bar. And again, it's all standard. You don't have to pay more to get these features. It's a nice thing about this bar. Other thing, too, about the bar as well is, there we go, we've got the uh, work lights going on. In this case, work lights to the rear and, of course, take down to the front. Now, again, this is on the roof of a, basically, an SUV. On a wrecker bar, you maybe have a much different area to the rear than you have currently on this vehicle. So, again, the work lights to the back would allow you to get a lot of functionality working in your bed area on the back of the vehicle itself or as you're hitching up a vehicle to be towed. And again, with having the front lights on too, that gives you the ability to see ahead. You can, of course, switch these independently, i.e. front off, rear on, rear on, front off, etc. Also, let's go ahead and turn the lights on, see what they look like. Now, one of the other great features about the SNLBL4 light bar, in general, there's 27 different flash patterns. We can take a look at some of them now as we kind of randomly go through those flash patterns. There's no particular order as we have set it up. But basically what you would do is you would find a flash pattern that works for you, or you could have it scroll through some patterns if that's what you would like it to do. And once you find the pattern or patterns that work, you just leave it alone and it takes care of itself. One of the interesting features about this particular bar, which I kind of like, is that we've actually put a polished mirror in the center area here left and right side, and the objective here is that allows us to bounce light off that mirror to give additional lighting, even though there are no LED modules currently set up in this area, in this particular bar configuration, that allows the light to be bounced around inside the bar, similar to what you would have had to do in the days of halogen, for example. On the edge of the bar itself, you will clearly see very nice intensity from an intersection protection perspective. A really nice solid light bar this. It has, of course, basically clear domes, which are what's on top here. And underneath here, if I carefully lift this up, you can see it has aluminum extrusion underneath the bar. Now, again, we haven't set this permanently on the vehicle. I'm just using it from a showing perspective. But you can see the aluminum extrusion. So this bar isn't going to bend or bow when it goes on the roof of a vehicle. It comes with a full five-year warranty. It's made here in the United States, especially for Sirenet. 
Well, there you have it. The SN LBL4 light bar available here at Sirenet. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Wrecker version. There are going to be other versions. Again, check out the SN LBL4 on Sirenet in the Sirenet brand section. I'm Stuart, and as always, many thanks for watching Sirenet Television.